Greetings to the audience of what will be The Grey House. This is Sean Cross, the host of the Sean Cross YouTube Experience. This is a reaction video. There are some before it, so make sure to go check them out on my channel. But not only will we, will we be doing reaction videos here on the channel, but we will also be doing graphic art commission time lapses. There is a podcast right around the corner. If not this weekend, it will be sometime in April, but things are definitely getting started. Multiple clients, really, really excited for that. We have original content on the way. We have cover music and other content, but this is gonna be a video, a reaction video for the band Kane Hill. Some of my favorite musicians. This is a four piece band, a quartet from New Orleans, Louisiana, consisting of Elijah Witt, James, I think Ryan and Devin, if I remember correctly. I've seen these guys live three different occasions in which one of them, I will admit, I was pretty zoinked and it was really fun. And I've talked with these people on multiple occasions. It's really, really cool. These guys are really, really local. They're very humble people, but at the same time, they're very much like, they're very, very atheist and there's nothing wrong with that. But for a very spiritual person like myself, kind of caught me off guard when I really figured out that they were as atheist as they are. Their last full length album, Too Far Gone, released back in 2018 now, under Rise Records was basically a record about an LSD trip that they all simultaneously took. And then Kill the Sun after that was their way of saying, F it, we can do whatever we want. And I've always appreciated and respected them since Too Far Gone, Smile, their original EP, and Kill the Sun. But without further ado, let's go ahead and continue our dive into the next chapter of Kane Hill with Kill Me. All right, all right, let's do this. Pretty freaking ready. nice this is cool i'm glad i waited a long time for this and uh i like that he's bringing back the screams that he did a lot more on smile in the first kane hill ep so i mean that's pretty hype but like this is just like this is chaotic this is dark this is heavy be sure to uh participate in the links below that will be provided for this original music video the uh let's see i think there's an official website for them but mostly just the links to the original videos will be provided down below because they have Crew de la Morte. But I'm not sure if they have a Patreon exactly set up for it yet. But let's continue. I Oh, I'm 
decent place to stop for the second time and most likely what will be for the last time for this video just because it is so short but these guys always bring creative to the table they always bring heavy to the table and when they don't want to bring heavy they bring really melodic they bring acoustic like the kill the sunny p be sure to check that out as well screw it i'll put a link down below for that because though it's not cane hill's usual stuff when that came out when it did it was really interesting it was really unique and i for sure loved kill the sun in fact uh me and a collaborator pardon me are working on doing a cover for that song and that's going to be one of the first song covers on this channel and it will be featuring both my clean singing his clean singing and guitar from both of us so i'm really excited about that keep an eye out for that for sure Life must send for death to fucking Wait, is that it? No. There's still a little bit more, at least. What's going on, Devin? What you doing in the car? Oh, shoot. One of the boys is dead. Not one of the boys. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. Dream Seeker. What? Oh, right. The people who made the music video. Okay, cool. So. Hands down, that was really enjoyable. That was definitely Kane Hill. That was heavier Kane Hill. And it seems that, like other bands such as Distant, which I've referenced to before, and even Bring Me the Horizon. It seems that Kane Hill is trying to contribute to a continuous story. And Crew de la Morte is going to be like its own little narrative. And I just can't imagine how awesome God is the Enemy is going to be, which is going to be right after this. So stay tuned. This is Sean Cross hosting the Sean Cross Experience, as well as my podcast that is just around the corner, depending on the success and how early we can get things set up for this weekend. That should be really exciting. Stick around for graphic art commission time lapses. As soon as I have the technology to do it, there will be original music, music covers, and other content as well. Stay tuned, and we'll see you guys in the very next reaction.